Every school district is reporting cases a bit differently, so to be consistent, we are using the data from the Department of Public Health. Here's a look at what percent of school age children here in the metro tested positive for the virus in the first month of school. You can see the districts that did not mandate masks. Forsyth, Cherokee and Cobb are on top. Interestingly, so is Fulton, though, which does have a mask mandate. That could be because the district was the last to start school at a time when the impact of the virus was climbing each day. Well, I shared my data with Dr. Richard Rothenberg at Georgia State School of Public Health. He warns there's a lot of variables like how many wore masks, even though they didn't need to, or what impact smaller city schools that made different choices had on the numbers. It's a complex situation and you got two things happening at the same time. You don't quite know what their connection is, but you see whether or not they go in the same direction. Masks go up, cases go down. If you see it over and over again, it begins to convince you that, yeah, this, this works. What I think this data does show is that what happens in the community happens in the schools. When we look at community spread, that's everyone living in a county, they go in the same order, all except Clayton. So why? Perhaps it's because Clayton has a lower vaccination rate and the virus has had a greater impact on the black community. Some will look at these numbers and say they're so small. 2% of students getting COVID. <laughs> it's why some parents have filed lawsuits in places like Gwinnett, arguing the end doesn't justify the means. Just know these small percentages add up. Of these counties in just the first month, 19,438 children at best missed a few days of school. At worst, got seriously ill. We know 94 of these children had to go to the hospital for treatment.